Okay, here we are on the table, on my table. And um, this is, uh, these are the first three pieces of 14 that I've already completed for the series Remnants. Uh, and as you can see, and hopefully you can see, I have um, many papers that are just little bits and pieces. Fortunately, these are small boards, so the small bits and pieces works really great. And I've added them all in together by first pulling out my color palette. I have so many papers, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but when you do mixed media and you love papers as much as I do, or if you do collage, you know that you are just going to turn into a paper hoarder. And that's okay. Um, I have more papers, more colors than this. But just to give you an idea, I've gone through all my papers and pulled out color palettes. Here's my green and my turquoise, uh, my rusty reds, my more pinks and um, uh, burgundy colors. Over here, I've also pulled out my paint color palette that I'm gonna, going to use. And the reason for this is when you have all of that together and close by, it's really easy to focus on and get lost in the work that you're doing, not running around and shuffling through things to find the papers or going through your paints to find the perfect color. You've already thought that out and put that up, up front for you. I've add, also been adding the dimensional piece in to it. There's also a dimensional piece of handmade uh, uh, paper down here in the corner. I have mark making um, in here. I love lines, so for me, I add a lot of lineage to my work. Also, most of these pieces are going to have a little bit of texture with uh, Venetian plaster that I've been playing around with. So I'm going to go over that with you too. But for now, these are the pieces that I've completed. This one shows a little bit more of the plaster. It's a little bit heavier application or a little bit more of a skip trowel. So um, you'll, you can see the colors and the papers that come on from underneath. Um, this one, this was an envelope with one of those little twist tie strings that I tore off and put on here. And that is my dimensional piece for right now. Um, that's piece number two. And here is the third piece so far. Um, and this one has a tag. The dimensional piece is the ta a tag from a piece of clothing. I really love the little sketch on that. This is part of an old painting, and you'll see um, what that's all about when I take you through the starts of this. This is a, a piece of wallpaper that I made way back in my faux finish days, um, and I have a, a partial roll of this, so I use it sparingly because I know once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, this is just printed paper I made, stencils, added in and of course marks and other papers. So these, this is kind of where I'm going with these pieces of remnants. And where I started was with 12 by 12 birchwood panels. Now you can go to the lumber yard and you can have these made. Um, it's a little trickier to figure out because the measurement has to also count the space that the blade is going to cut. So I find it really easy to go on Amazon and order. This is an eighth inch uh, birch board, 12 inches by 12 inches. And when I bought these, it was before um, lumber went up recently uh, because it's so hard to get a hold of. Um, and these were 45 boards for like $65. I had a friend just send me um, another price on on Amazon has, and it was for 20 boards, and I think it was like around $40. I'm not really sure, but what I'm gonna suggest, if you want all your boards to evenly match in size, go on Amazon and order them. They come nice and neatly cut. So that is what I'm starting with, is just this plain board, not to worry about how you're gonna frame it, you can either drop it in a floater frame or what I like to do. I cut a piece of 
this just happened to be a six by one inch piece of lumber. I cut off chunks of it. I glue it onto the back of my board. I add a D-ring, my card, my signature. And they're really nice because when they hang on the wall, they kind of float and they give you this nice little shadow effect. I, I love the way that this looks and it's really affordable to do. And when you're turning out um, a series of 14 paintings, you don't have to go to the expense of framing every one. Um, I find that framing is kind of very selective. People like, like it or they don't like it. They don't like the color of the frame. They don't like the top type of the frame. Whereas this is just the artwork. So that's all they have to deal with because of the thickness of this board. If they decide they wanna put it in a floater frame, it'll slip right down in there and it, it gives them the option to do that. So, so there's a little peek at my upcoming Remnants series. If you'd like to know more about the release, check the description. And until then, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on your way out. I love that. Thanks. Bye.